哈喽，大家好，我是 Jessica。嗯、um, ，我们一直带大家看很多新建的房子和非常精美的二手房啊。Uh, 那我们今天也想带大家看一个完全新建的房子是如何建的。那今天我们有幸的请到 Urbanist 公司的啊、uh, 董事长 Delanda， 然后来可以跟我们来分享一下。那我这个朋友啊、uh, 跟我交情也很好，然后我也跟他认识很久了。那他的呃、啊、设计理念我一直都非常喜欢，然后我个人也了解到他经常去一些就是很呃、啊、前沿的一些展会，然后去学习一些新的设计理念。而且他从事这个行业已经二十多年了，所以我一直非常认可他的作品。先来看看他的作品吧。那我们现在就请啊、uh, ，Blanda 来给我们介绍一下他的公司。Hey Blanda, can you introduce Urbanist to our friends here? Yes, hello.、Um, I'm Blanda Degwad. I'm the developer for this project and, and many others in Brookline.、Um, my company is Urbanist.、Uh, it, it is predominantly I came up with the name because I I'm an urban developer. I like to be specifically in really great locations close to areas that you could walk to. So, being that's an important part of the design, I also added the word ESS Urban S, which had a little bit more of a feminine feel to it, a little kind of I don't know,、um, urban. And ESS,、uh, by the way, stands for the Environment,、uh, Style, and Sophistication, which I think is a big example of what I focus on when I do buildings. I, I, I'm, I'm aware of the current environment. I think about efficiency in the buildings. I think about even to the extent of You know what existed there. The style is very important, and I like it to be sophisticated, so it has a long-lasting feel to it.、Um, so that's kind of. And、yeah. I've been in this business for over 25 years. So. Okay. Yeah.、Mm. So right now we're standing in front of this、uh, big project here, 57 University Road. Can you introduce to us a little bit of this project? Sure. So, 57 University is a ground-up construction project. These usually take about because of the restrictions in Brookline, because we don't have a lot of land. If you knock down an existing building, it takes about three to four years to complete.、Um, not the construction, just the whole process of zoning and permitting.、Um, it is a sister project to another one I just completed and sold in Brookline. This is called the Avant, which is influenced by the Mondrian artists because of the linear design of it, and that's. And, and, and in addition, there are three flat units, with the penthouse being a duplex.、Um, there's underground parking, heated, two spots each, direct elevator access into each unit, and it's a very high-end design. I mean, I focus on lighting, on on where the south facing, and 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 the efficiency of the systems, and really what makes I think my projects unique, and where the quality is an integral part of what I focus on, is that I have a, a long-standing team. I have some of the people who've been with me for over 20 years, so I think that's an important part to understand. This is just not changing. It's the same people、um, that have been working on it, the same project manager. They understand the level of of of, of construction that I'm looking for in my project. So I think、um, so. Yeah, this is the second. This is the sister to the Mondrian called the Avant. So welcome. So Belinda, now can we talk about the design concept behind this 57 University Road? Sure.、Um, so. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a process. It takes about four years, but on the first year, you know, in, in particular this building, we had to knock an existing building down, and then after that, you go through planning, and the design and planning involves all the civil, structural, and the architect, and that's just design-wise. That takes about six to eight months, and then you go to the building department, get all your approvals, and once you go through all that process and, and engineering for all the water, there's a lot of time that's involved in getting your final approvals for permit. But most importantly. That I try to work on, and I'm involved in every step, is what the whole building will look like cohesively, and I'm always there to add more elements to it. The design, because it's three units and less, we're able to do it without having other people do design review and change it for us. So we're able to create a better product, a more cohesive product, and a product that goes inside and out. It feels like it was all built as one. The materials, you know, it's, it just—I spend a lot of time on that because it's going to be here for a long time, and I want to leave a mark. About you know maybe in you know it's a 2020 development that oh that was the same Urban S that did that one. I wanted to have a long, attractive feeling, a sophisticated feel. So 
those are one of the benefits of not having to go through design review. So like I said, after four years, you end up with this product at the end. Right now we have about six months, six to seven months more to go before we finish. But one of the things about the properties is I really try, besides light, light's very important, is outdoor space. Um, and after COVID, that seemed to even pick up, but I did it before that as well. I know I love to be outdoors, so the outdoor space I try to make very luxurious. An area that you can come to and feel that you're out of the city, that you're maybe somewhere else, that you have privacy, that you could sit outside, and not just on a little deck. So that's a very important part. If I didn't want to do that, we wouldn't have had so many retaining walls and step-ups. Here, we have a very large backyard in the first floor through unit. Um, each unit in, these, in 57 University, called the Avant, each unit has outdoor space and a significant amount of it. So I carve out areas that are private as well. It's not like you're right next to each other. They're very private outdoor spaces. So you don't have to, you feel like you have your privacy within your home and outside of your home. And I think that's a really um, important part of the design um, at, at Urban S that I try to focus on. So Belinda, I understand you have a lot of projects in Brooklyn. Why do you love Brooklyn? You know, it all started where, where I lived. It's so interesting. When I first started do, uh, doing a lot of projects, it was in the South End because I lived there. And so you, you build your community there. Then I moved to Brookline. I continued in the South End, but I started building a community in Brookline. And mm -hmm. it's got all that you want in terms of it's got a great school system for kids. Mm -hmm. It's a safe area. It's right next to the city. I walk there. Um, and it's got a great, it, it's got a lot to offer. It still has an urban environment. And so that's how I ended up here. And then I ended up buying more properties and doesn't mean I won't go back to the South End or the city to do others but I consider this a great alternative mm -hmm. um, where you still walk everywhere you still have restaurants so you know it's, it's just it's part of my community yeah that's great mm -hmm. so also you have a lot of uh, buyers Asian buyers mm -hmm. and I know you uh, learned a little bit about feng shui so is there anything you want to share with us well you know it's interesting I started noticing I was, I'd say about 10 to 15% of my buyers are Asian buyers. And at first I didn't think about it until it was, someone brought it to my attention. You know, Belinda, you have, you, and I said, why is that? Why am I attracting? Because uh -huh. I didn't know what I was doing that was attractive unless someone could share that with me. Uh -huh. And someone mentioned numbers, but that wasn't enough. It's not just a number, it had to be more. So, you know, I started looking at Feng Shui because I thought it was an interesting concept of the flow of your home and yeah. where a bed would be and yeah. where the door is when you open up a room. Yeah. And it makes sense and it only asks, it only helps me be better, a better developer. It helps me create better, uh, you know, more um, flowing design. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I read a little bit about it. I understand it. I try to focus on some of the key elements, which mm -hmm. are where your door is located, yeah. what you look at yeah. down a hallway, yeah. things like that it's helped me to make a better product. So, yeah, so I just, I learn from my clients, essentially. Yeah. So Belinda, how to build a good quality home? I think there's a lot of factors, and I think one of it is experience, because I've been doing this for so long. There are times when things didn't turn out right, or you, didn't, you weren't happy with the results, and so next time you don't do the same, you don't have the same mistake. Mm -hmm. um, I also think you have to be the a person who really values the quality mm -hmm. of products that's right you know and if you don't if that's not I mean there's it's very easy and I'm not criticizing any kind of developer who wants to do it differently but for me I didn't really want to do I did, didn't want to just do run-of-the-mill I really wanted something that was quality I, wa I want to be proud of a product whether that makes sense I know it's past the money point of it's not about the money but I just thought that that was the kind of person I wanted to be and I wanted to have integrity in my work and I wanted it to stand on its own so um, so it just follows, you know, you have a good team, that's quality, they know how you want it built, that's quality, you hire the right people, that's quality. I mean, I, my plumber, my electrician, a lot of these people have been with me for a very long time. So in and of itself, you know, you like their quality and it only gets better. So I think it's important.